President Biden says pro-Palestinian protests have not prompted him to rethink his Middle Eastern policies. Now, this comes after police officials broke up a pro-Palestinian encampment overnight at UCLA where hundreds were arrested. CBS 13's Bradley Blackburn has the latest. Loud bangs could be heard as police in riot gear moved in early Thursday morning and began dismantling the tent encampment on UCLA's campus, ripping apart the barricades that pro-Palestinian demonstrators set up. We're not leaving! We're not leaving! It came hours after police warned the protesters there would be arrests if people did not disperse. Hundreds were taken into custody, including this woman who identified herself as a UCLA senior. You know, we have to challenge these systems of oppression so that we could free Gaza and free all peoples that are oppressed. As daylight broke, police had the encampment cleared out, but protesters remained just outside the area. The operation went well. Uh, we did take uh, items or items were thrown at our officers, uh, fire extinguishers, smoke. Uh, however, uh, the encampment was cleared in approximately three hours. It's part of protests on college campuses nationwide against the war in Gaza. President Biden addressed the situation Thursday. Destroying property is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. What effect his comments have remains to be seen. Protesters say they have no plans to stop until their demands are met. Well, so far, according to the Associated Press, more than 2,000 people have been arrested nationwide during those protests. One history professor at UCLA who says he visited the encampment says the narrative of the encampment on campus has been mischaracterized, saying students have been committed to nonviolence and de-escalation tactics. The encampment itself uh, was mostly peaceful, and I would like to highlight the wide diversity of students that were there, some of Palestinian descent. Uh, Muslim students, but also beyond uh, members of the Latinx community, Jewish students who hosted Seder at the encampment. Uh, uh, characterizing these as violent is a gross mischaracterization, I would say, uh, at least in the context of UCLA. All UCLA classes are going to be held remotely today and tomorrow. Campus officials say the Westwood campus is operating in a limited capacity.